friends, it's Holmes from Home Story Books, and I am here today to talk about my 20th century queer project. This was inspired by Al from Big Al Books' 20th century lit project, where she basically read 100 books from the 20th century, one published in each year. My project is a little bit more flexible than hers. My idea is to read 100 books by queer people from the 20th century with some rough guidelines. One of her rules is that she can only read from one author once, however in the 20th century it seems like there were only sometimes a maximum of like four queer or trans authors writing at a time. So I'll be reading a lot of Colette in the 1910s and 1920s and Christopher Isherwood for the 30s and 40s and a lot of James Baldwin and Anne Bannon from the 50s and 60s and only around the 70s and 80s do we get some real variety. The reason I want to take on this enormous project is because I want to learn about where I and my queer family comes from. I want to see if I can pick up on any trends or themes in queer writing throughout the decades and really pay homage to my ancestors. In a lot of ways, especially in regards to trans rights, we have such a long way to go. But we couldn't have gotten to where we are without the work and labour of activists, authors and allies as well. Anyway, let's talk about the project. So the plan and the first rule for the project is to read one book for each year in the 20th century, also known as 100 books. Second guideline is that books I've already read count. If one book cannot be found for that year, a book in the same decade may be offered, especially if it is by a black, indigenous, or author of colour. If I can't find a book for that year or in that decade, a memoir about someone from that time or non-fiction is also cool, and as a last resort I can use historical fiction. I also am not being terribly critical about the author's sexuality. Many of these authors argue that they were not gay or queer in order to preserve themselves from hatred and bigotry. So as long as the book features a prominent queer or trans character, I'm good. I won't be reading in chronological order of years because queer books from the 1900s can be really hard to discover, then source, then read. My plan is to read in whatever decade I finish first, then to do an overall reflection video where I talk about trends and thoughts from each decade. Right now, I am starting by reading in the 1970s. I just finished Tales of the City by Amistad Maupin. So for the last part of this video, I was going to show you my research process and show you how I found all the titles, but then I thought that might be boring. Let me know if you're interested in that, but otherwise I'm going to show you the list, which is still a work in progress. It's not perfect. and I'm going to make my exit. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, let me know. What classics are you reading right now? Let's talk in the comments below. Bye everyone!